Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy YND. I wanted to talk to y'all about, you know, how to set the tone for sex and basically how to communicate to women that you want sex without actually saying it though, without actually saying it. So, you know, I know this is something that a lot of you guys struggle with, right? Because, you know, and I used to struggle with it too, right? It's like, dang, how do I tell her that I want to fuck, right? How do I tell her I want to get in that ass, right? Without sounding weird, without sounding too horny. And so what a lot of guys do is they, this is where you end up playing this whole friend zone thing or this nice guy role, you know, and you kind of like hoping that she, you know, sees it and eventually gives you some ass because you paid for some dates or because you've been kind to her or been a friend or some shit, right? Which they not going to do because women already know that you want to fuck. That's the first thing y'all gotta say. Women already know that you wanna fuck. But you also, you know, the other side of you guys, you don't wanna come off too fucking horny, right? And this is what some of you guys do. You got the balls and the confidence to basically blatantly tell women from the jump that you're just trying to fuck. And what you find is, yeah, there's some girls that will go along with this, right? If they have really high interest in you from the jump, meaning they look at you and they think you a 10 out of fucking 10. You just do it for them the way that you look. This is not going to be the case with most girls, right? Most people, right? Even the girl, just think about it for yourself. Most girls you meet, they not your perfect 10 out of 10 in your eyes. Even if you like, yeah, I fuck or she cute or she pretty, right? She not going to be your perfect 10. It's the same way with women, if not more, right? If not to a greater extent. So what's the solution here? It's all, it's in two things. You got to ask a woman back to your place after y'all have a date, right? Or y'all hang out. And the second thing is, it's all in your tonality and how you talk to the girl. So it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. So a lot of you guys, you fumble the bag when you talk to girls because you either, you communicate in like this friendly type of way. So this is where you out with the girl and you, ah yeah, Melinda, you know, this is a, you know, it's a great time. And what kind of movies you like to watch? How was the traffic on your way here? You're talking like this. You can't talk like this, all right, when you talk to women. You gotta be in your sexy, seductive, like suave, you know what I'm saying, type of mode. And when you talk to them, you know, hey, how was the traffic, you know? How was the traffic? You talking like this. How was the traffic when you got here? So you told me that uh, you like to watch movies. What's your favorite genre, right? This is already putting you in that, okay, you know, this guy's a sexual type of guy, right? And when I say sexual type of guy, I don't mean, oh, like I said, women already know that guys want to fuck. So it ain't no fucking secret there, okay? So if you think you hiding your intentions or some shit, okay, you need to wake the fuck up. Women already know you want to have sex. This is why they manipulate men and shit like this. So what you're doing with this type of tonality though, right? This gets girls wet. This gets a girl's fucking stimulated. So this type of tonality, it shows a lot of things. It shows that one, it's make you sound more confident, right? When you talk higher and shit, this make you sound more nervous and shit. Like you don't ever get girls or like you ain't never had a girl like this. And I tell you guys, women want to fuck guys who already get girls. So if you coming off like you nervous or some shit, she ain't going to want to fuck you, right? It's going to put her guard up or make her think, oh, you know, I'm doing this guy a favor if I fuck him or something. You see what I'm saying? And also too, that tone, that tone of voice, it sets you, you know what I'm saying, as like the leader, as the fucking man in the interaction. And that's what gets her going. Now, the other thing, asking her back to her, to your place. Guys, you cannot be afraid to do this. And see, this is the thing. It's actually easy to do it, you know, at the end of the day, especially if everything went well and shit, especially when you don't say nothing fucking weird. This is why I'm trying to get you guys out of this, you know, thinking of what do I say to take it to sex or take it to some freaky shit when you can actually be normal, guys. Yes, I know it's fucking crazy. Most of the girls, actually all of the girls that I fuck, they end up telling me, you know, when I ask, because I always like to ask girls, what was it, you know, about me or some shit like this, like later down the line, of course, not in the fucking beginning. And they'll say, you had good conversation. You were normal, right? Which is fucking crazy. Most guys are either too sexual or they too fucking nice and they play this nice guy route. You want to be right in the middle. So when it come to letting her know, you know, that you want to have sex, all you got to do is ask her back to your place. What you're doing when you say this, is you're basically saying, hey, I want you to come back to my crib. It's going to be me and you alone. The only places y'all going to sit is either on the couch and I got my couch right here or the other time I take the girls back to the bedroom and we land in the bed and we watching a movie or some shit like this, right? You got to ask them and you can't be fucking afraid to do this and you don't have to be when you know you ain't said nothing weird leading up to it. You see what I'm saying? You've been talking in that tonality and shit, lowering your tonality, talking more calm, keeping the eye contact, you know, things like this. This all shows confidence. This shows that you're comfortable and it actually makes women feel secure as well that you ain't no fucking killer okay because you ain't fucking 
eager to fuck and shit like this, right? Saying crazy shit or trying to, you know, impress girls or make her like you. When people in general, not just women, guys, people do not like people who you basically trying to force them to like you. You see what I'm saying? People don't like people like that. So, you know, that low tonality and you chilling and you sitting on a date with your fucking shoulders back, all right? You don't want to be hounced over like how I am because I'm trying to talk on the fucking camera. You don't want to be like that. So good posture, good body language, and that low tonality. Now, the way you can ask a girl back to your place is like this. I always do it like this. At the end of the date, you know, I'll say, what you doing after this? Right, they gonna say nothing. Now they ain't got nothing. Most of the time, they ain't gonna have nothing to fucking do because I set all my dates at like eight o'clock. You see what I'm saying? So by the time you know the date done ran its course and we done had a couple of drinks and we've been having good conversations, she might have been laughing, I might have been laughing a good time. Right? It's nine nine thirty. Right? I usually keep my dates within like an hour, hour and a half or some shit like this. So at this point, like, what the fuck you gotta do? You ain't got nothing to do. So I always ask them, like, hey, what you doing after this? They always gonna say, oh, I ain't got really nothing or something like this. And I say, hey, you wanna come back to my spot after this? A lot of girls, they just say, yeah, cool, let's go. Now, some of them, they might say, why? Now, when they say why, you don't fucking say, because I wanna fuck. You say, you know, we could take a couple more shots. We could watch a movie, right? And talk and get to know each other some more. The, at that point, the girl's either gonna say no or yes. A lot of the times they say yes, okay? This is the first interaction I do this shit. This lets a girl know that you wanna fuck. You don't have to say nothing else. And it shows confidence because you ain't nervous to say it. And it's not that difficult to do it, right? You gotta pick your fucking balls up. All right, pick your fucking balls up, get rid of them damn manginas, and start being fucking mean and just ask her this simple question. The worst she could say is no. Now, this is a bonus part for those who made it this fucking far. If she says no, but she agrees to go on a second date, guess what you have done now? You basically have let this girl know that, yeah, I want you to come back. I'm confident enough to ask you to come back because I'm trying to fuck. You done made your intentions clear without saying much at all. Do you see what I'm saying? So if this girl agrees to go on a second date with you and she shows up, this can bring you the comfort in your mind to know, oh, yeah, I'm probably about to fuck. And even if you don't fuck that night, right, I promise you, you're going to be able to make a move easy. She going to be wanting you to. She showed up on that date knowing this guy asked me to come back to his place last time. Right, but I had a good time with him. I wasn't ready to do it the first time, and I'm back this time. She either ready to bust it wide open, or at the very least, this time when you ask, when you ask her again, she's going to say yes. All right, and when you get back to the crib, you gon' you can make you can make your move and either fuck, or at the very least, you might get head, or you might be able to you know finger her or play with her titties or suck on her titties and make out or some shit. Right, some sort of progression. Right, and then the next time, you know, you definitely gonna fuck after that. So this is how you do it, guys. Don't ever go up to girls, you know, directly telling them you wanna fuck and weird shit like this, saying a bunch of sexual innuendos, trying to be Mr. Flirt Man. And the other side is you don't want to, you know, play it normal like this, like I'm telling you guys. But then when you go on the date, you know, your vo your tone of voice is off. But even if your tone of voice is on point, bro, if you don't ask this girl back to your crib, it's going to give off nice guy, beta male type of energy, right? She going to put you in a group of like, you lack the confidence. You don't know how to escalate all of this shit. And uh, I can make a video on how to escalate once the girl is back to the crib. I'll do that next. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.